Today's activity is going to be with your paddle or racket and with a wiffle ball. If you have the equipment, great. If you need to pause the video, go grab it and come back. Go ahead and do that. Unpause it once you're back. Now that we are ready, you have your racket, you have your wiffle ball. First thing we're going to do just to get warm, we're going to throw it in the air. Go ahead and knock it once and catch it. Now the racket is in your strong hand. I'm a lefty, so it's in my left hand. If you're right-handed, it goes in your right hand. If you use both, whichever hand you draw with, whichever hand you write with, is the hand that you hold the racket in. So I hold the racket in my left hand. I'm gonna toss, hit, and catch, just to warm up. We'll do this for a little bit. This is also known as your forehand. Those of you that play tennis, your forehand is in front with your power. Your forehand, I'm a lefty. When I come across with my left, that's my forehand. Most of you are right-handed and are doing it opposite. All right. Go ahead and catch it for a second. Grab a sip of water if you would like. Now we're gonna move on to two taps and a catch. So like this and a catch. Again, you're always keeping your eye on that ball. Bend your knees. Go ahead and start if you haven't. The paddle is staying in my left hand. You don't switch hands with the paddle. If the ball is on the other side, you're using your back hand. You can also flip it over to use your back hand, but we're not there yet. We'll do that a little bit later. So you're still doing two taps and a catch. That catch in your off hand, for those of you that play softball or baseball, that's the hand your glove would be on. Again, for me, I'm a lefty, so I would be throwing with my left, so my glove would be on my right. The hand that I am catching with now. Same with you. So tap, tap, catch. But no, don't go, go get your glove and uh, put it on now. Don't do that, because then it's tough to toss it to your racket hand. All right, catch it, take a break. Take a look at me for a second. Now we're gonna do tap in the air, flip the racket over, tap in the air, and catch. So forehand, backhand, because it's the back, catch. I like to have my finger up a little higher on the racket in the back. Some people keep it straight, that's fine. Totally up to you which one you wanna do. So, Forehand, backhand, catch. Forehand, backhand, catch. Go ahead and start if you haven't. Forehand, backhand, catch. You should be moving around a little bit, so keep your knees bent. Eyes are focused on that ball. Once in a while, if you want to look away in the distance just to focus on something else and then go back to that wiffle ball. Because you're watching that wiffle ball hit your racket and then into your hand. Keep going. If you're feeling comfortable to get that ball a little higher, go ahead. And the catch is still part of this. Don't try to just keep going yet. We will get there. The catch is still part of this. There's a lot of transitional skills in this. And 
when I say that, I mean the catch is helpful when you're playing other sports. The racket and knowing how to use it is helpful in other sports. And it's why it's called transitional skills. Being able to catch this wiffle ball off this racket would help in a sport like softball or baseball. Obviously being able to hit it off this racket itself is helpful in something like tennis, maybe badminton. All right, go ahead and stop, grab a sip of water if you'd like. The next thing we're gonna do is try to keep it on your paddle as long as you can. After about 10, 15 hits, if you're still keeping it on that paddle, catch it, take a break, recenter, look around a little, just to focus on something else and then start again. So go ahead and try knocking it around on that paddle. Again, once you get to about 10 or 15, go ahead and catch it, look around a little, stop, recenter yourself. Make sure you still have enough space around you to do it. And again, start if you haven't. Recenter once in a while. If you want a challenge of sometimes going forehand to backhand, go ahead. Alright, go ahead and catch that ball. Alright, the next and last thing we're going to do is work on high hits and then low hits. So it'll be high, low, high, and if you have a, oops, if you're in a room where there's a ceiling, bend your knees a lot on this so you can get it high and low. Low, high, low, high, and try to make that pattern. If you can do it about 10 times, 15 times in a row, catch it, look around, focus on something else, and then start over again. Go ahead and start if you haven't. Low high pattern. Keep going. If you need to stop for a second to catch your breath and get water, that's fine. Just pause it while you're doing that. If you need a little bit more of a challenge, you can switch that forehand to backhand. I'm okay with this. If you want to just try a little big and then a catch, that's obviously okay too. Any pattern of that little big 
soft touch and then a little harder don't go crazy we don't want to have to replace a wiffle ball friends great job everybody you can catch that wiffle ball hope you had fun today great job stay active